Okay, hello everyone. I'm gonna teach you how to pull a handle. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do, you wanna start off with clay fresh out the bag. It has a lot more uh, plasticity, which it will allow it to stretch, right? Next, you're gonna form, you know, like a carrot shape, right? And you could create a longer carrot shape, um, right? And thin it out, right? Simply just by squeezing, right? What I'm gonna do is add water now supporting this bigger piece at the top. You need a big piece, right? The base, right, to hold on to, right? First step, for pulling handles, you're gonna add water and allow it to slide, right, as you squeeze to create like a O, oh, like a circle, right? As you do this, you're gonna create, I mean, you're gonna rotate, right, your clay, right? So you continue to rotate your clay making it nice and even, and follow through completely with each pull, right? If you don't follow through completely and gradually thin your piece of clay, right, you'll have a big wad at the end. If that happens, you just squeeze that off and throw it on the side, okay? All right, so once you have a nice size for your handle, right, what you're gonna do is thin it out by using your thumb with the index fingers behind it, and you're gonna gently press and drag down, okay? Anytime it becomes sticky, add a little water, right? I'm gonna use this area of my finger and create a wider base, right? So at this section up here, I may need to squeeze a little more, right? And then I'll follow through with each pull, right? And printing my thumb and squeezing with my back finger right up against my back finger, right? Whatever you do to one side, whenever you're pulling handles, you're gonna rotate and do to the other side, right? So again, I'm gonna go into my neck up here, right? That's gonna be the top of my handle. I'm gonna follow through with each pull, right? Go over a few times and notice the handle is getting longer and longer, right? So as you're doing this, if you know you're not gonna need that clay, you can squeeze it off. Um, it's easier to manage, right? When you have one that's uh, more in uh, along the lines of what you're going for, right? Now, I'm gonna continue to pull, right? And you're gonna use the webbing, right, between your index finger and your middle finger. And you're gonna use that webbing, webbing and squeeze like this, right, wrap it around, squeeze towards the webbing, all right? Whatever you do to one side, right? Remember, you're gonna do to the other side, right? Squeeze towards the webbing, right? And different fingers have different webbing, right? Different widths you're able to achieve, right? Depending on what fingers you use, right? After you're done with your handle, right? It needs time to dry. So what I like to do is actually just squeeze off and I'll move this so you guys can see. I'll just lay it flat on newspaper. All right, there are plenty of um, other ways to do this. I prefer leaving it flat until it's leather hard or leather soft, shall I say, um, right? So that I could just modify the shape without it sticking to me and it'll hold its form, right? So I'm gonna pull another one really quick, right? I'm going through all the motions, right? Make sure you use plenty of water, right? For this one, I'm gonna squeeze off, and these are gonna be trimmed later. If you decide to form it into a shape, you can put it up, form it into a shape now, and this part, this part could be trimmed later. All right, so when I attach handles, I'll show you uh, the advantages of, of each, of having one flat, ha having one slightly modified. If you know you're not gonna to get to trim your handles right away, I mean, uh, attach your handles right away, you may wanna form them into a shape in case they get too firm, because once it's too firm, I won't get that shape without splitting, okay? Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Thank you.